this is going to be an unboxing of Hinapia's new start promo album for Drip. Um, this is already gonna go in my August album video as well, so you'll see it there. But I kind of wanted to film a separate video just to unbox it, even though I've already opened it, and kind of just talk about um, Hinapia and Pristin in general. So, yeah. Um, honestly, I don't know how many unboxings exist of this, so I just wanted to like put it out there as well. So I just keep this in the sleeve that it came in just to protect it. Okay, so here we have it. Um, the lighting is a little bit dark right now, so I'm sorry if you won't be able to see the signatures really well. Um, I'll put the translation of what this says on the side over here um so yeah this is what the front looks like sorry the lighting is really bad right now yeah so that is um Gyeongwon's signature that's bada's signature that's anu's signature that's yevin's signature and that is minkyung's signature um so this is the front that's the side and this is the back Okay, and let's take a look at the photo book. I'm gonna try to be talking about Hinapia um, throughout this. Sorry for the glare. Here's the front and the side. It says Hinapia first digital single drip. And here's the back. Um, there's supposed to be a silver sticker here that indicates that it's not for sale, that it's a promo album. Um, I don't know why mine doesn't have that. I asked the seller and they didn't know either, so yeah. My girls look so pretty. I miss them. Okay. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about... Um, oh my god, the glare. I'll hold it up so the, um, there isn't as much of a glare. Okay, so I'll talk a little bit about Pristin and how I got into them. So basically, I um, found them through Pristin V's debut, and that was actually close to when I first started getting into K-pop. And then um, after that, I started uh, looking more into the other girls that weren't in the subunit, and um, like all of a sudden, they just happened, like they just turned into my ults like so quickly. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it. And then after that, they went on the hiatus and at the end, everyone was like, when they opened their own social media, everyone was like, are they going to come back? But um, I guess that was already when like they were planning on disbanding, or like when Pletus was planning on disbanding them. Honestly, when they disbanded, I found out when I was in class and that was like the weirdest moment for me. Like. It felt like nothing was real, honestly. The person who told me, I didn't even find out through like social media. I didn't even believe her at first and yeah, it was weird. And then um, there was like a period of silence and then it was announced that the these members would be debuting with um, Bada in Hinapia and I was honestly so happy. But then like, I wanted to I wanted to support them so badly and I was like really confused why they didn't release an album for sale even though I know this is just a single but like it's their debut right and they could have gotten money off of it but yeah and then after that I was like ready to like collect OT5 just do everything and then they just kind of went silent as well recently and then I feel like we all kind of saw it coming because of their company um, being like not having as much money to fund comebacks so like this time the news of disbandment didn't really hit me as hard i was kind of just numb almost but honestly it's like when i think back on it i'm it's still really sad and i really miss them i hope that the girls are doing well now i think um hopefully some of them might continue to pursue their dream but i feel like some of them also will go on to other things now. Honestly, I just wish them the best and I hope they're happy. Actually, when 
I realized that this was a thing, like this album, I was like, I need to eventually get it because there are only like some, right? Really limited number. And because I love them so much, I was like, you know what, I have to have this. And um, I actually found this right a couple days before their disbandment was announced. And I was like, you know what, that's bad, but I guess good timing. <laughs> I'm really happy. They all look so good. Um, yeah, I just hope I can support them and that they'll be happy whatever they do next. With like all the- there was like drama on Twitter over like Kyla and um, everything that happened. Um, honestly, I won't comment too much on it, but it just was kind of disappointing and also like i don't know someone was like standing a disbanded group should be peaceful and it should but i don't know so i don't know where i'm going with this i'm just kind of speaking like my train of thought yeah oh wait right here are the lyrics and Here's some credit, and here's the CD. Honestly, to ha like have um like give them the second chance already through Hinapia, I'm really glad for, and I'm really glad that Bada got to debut at least. Um, I hope that she at least continues to pursue her dream because I know she's still relatively young and she still has a lot of time. The others, I'm not saying that they don't have time anymore, but they are getting older and I don't know, I feel like some of them, I hope that they're not discouraged from this, but you know, if they want to go on to other things, I understand. I'm just really glad I've been able to support them so far up until now. I'm still working on my Pristin and Hinapia collection. I mean, Hinabi has five cards, but um, hopefully through this I can kind of like have a memory of them and just keep- because honestly, like collecting them is one of the things that makes me the happiest. I don't know, it just feels very different from collecting other groups. It just- it makes me so happy. I love them so much and I'm gonna really miss them. But yeah, thank you for watching my unboxing. I know it got even darker over the course of this video but i hope you enjoyed and bye thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video